Hey, you're probably watching this video because you searched for how to get rid of blue boxes on iPhone. This is Sherry with SherryHelpsYou.com and I've had this happen to myself. It's quite annoying. You end up with this blue box kind of like you see here on the screen um, and it's it's everywhere on your iPhone. Every app that you open, every page you go to and it kind of floats around and it's really annoying and I have some thoughts about why it happens and I'll share that with you in a minute but just so you know how to turn it off you want to go to your iPhone to the settings page and on the settings page go down to the general button when you open up general you want to scroll down and look for accessibility and then when the accessibility page opens scroll down to where you see switch control and if you're seeing blue boxes on your iPhone, this is probably going to be on. It'll look like this little green button right here. And you just want to use your finger and swipe that to the left and turn switch control off. So, it, real easy to turn off. Um, what I think happens, and I think this is what happens to me, is I, you know, I held down my uh, round button at the end of the screen um, to talk to Siri, and she came on or actually I probably mistakenly pushed the button and she came on and she asked what she can help me with and then I I decided well that was a mistake I didn't need Siri so I tried to you know push the button and get out of it and I think when I did that I turned on the accessibility so um, what I've been doing when I open Siri and this happens to me and Siri asks me you know how can I help you I'll just say never mind and then it'll close out Siri. So I'll just kind of do that right now for you. you can. So she says, what can I help you with? Me. Never mind. I'm okay if you're okay. And uh, after you respond to her and start a conversation, you can literally just push her little your button and get out and it'll you'll be okay um, so anyway um, I love helping people answer questions online I work from home and I actually get paid to do this and if you're curious about how that works or um, what you could do to work from home just go to this website www.sherry s-h-e-r-r-i helps you dot com I hope you have a great day and enjoy using your iPhone now that you know how to turn off the blue boxes on your iPhone. Bye for now.